the 5R55W and S transmission, like the 5R55N, is notorious for having high line pressures, some harsh engagements, flares up in the shifts. One of the questions that we've been always been asked at Valve Body Pro is how can we make sure we can separate the problem, whether it's a transmission control module problem, a valve body problem, or the solenoid pack? We at Valve Body Pro have come up with a test that we feel that will help you to be able to separate the two to determine if you're dealing with a transmission control module problem or a valve body or solenoid pack. Uh, we're going to show you a, a way to test it. Now, our system is a little bit more complicated. We're using state-of-the-art equipment, but you could use a regular pressure gauge or your, with your scanner. Now, as you know, the 5R55W, the S and the N, have two pressure taps. The one that is at the driver's side, that is a line pressure tap. The one that's on the passenger side is for the pressure control C, or the PC solenoid. Now, we're going to show you how you can use the scanner to be able to test these things. Most of the late model 4s have what is called an OSC, that is an output state control system. Now, that allows you to control the parameters, certain parameters. We're going to show you how to use the scanner to control the solenoid A, the solenoid B, and the solenoid C. Now, if you know that the PCA and the PCB have a direct effect on the line pressure, whereas the PCC, which controls the reverse engagement and the uh, three-fourth shift, has its own pressure tap. So we're going to uh, show you how to utilize this to separate whether you have a transmission control module problem or if it's a solenoid or, or a valve body. Let's show you how first how to connect it. Now the first thing we need to do is to go behind the transmission control module and identify the wires that go to the TC, uh, the, the PCA, the PCB, and the PCC. Now we already identified ours. The yellow is back probing the PCB and the green one is back probing the PCC because those are the only two wires, uh, solenoids that we're going to be testing. So let's back probe the PCB so that we can test it and then we're going to hook up this. Uh, now what makes it the Virus Pro has a very interesting system we're going to use. We're going to disconnect this portion where you hook up the, solen the, the wiring harness and we're going to back probe the transmission control module to it. And uh, we already hooked up the pressure gate transducer, so we're going to hook all this up to the scope meter, and then we'll go to see it live. Okay, now once you have uh, established communication with your scanner, and you have entered into the, uh, the data, this, this window you see here, you're able to now to select whether you're going to do data. You're going to go down to functional test. And the here, uh, you're gonna, you could test the PCA, the PCB, or the PCC. Now, we're going to be testing the PCB. And remember that the PCA and the PCB have a direct effect on the line pressure. And since we're tapped into the main line pressure, we're going to see the effects on the line pressure. So let's go to the PCB. Get ready to test it. I'll establish communication. So now if you put your attention over here to the uh, Virus Pro, you'll see the, that you have a mainline pressure and you have your PCB average DC voltage. Now I am going to go ahead and start going into a test mode and you'll see it automatically lowers everything down to the minimum pressure. Now I am going to start to increase, if you look at the scanner over here now, You'll see that I, I'm, I have the ability to increase it in, in 10 PSI increments, which you will see the effects on the um, average DC voltage. So here we'll start by one click, and it's, it is normal to see two to three clicks before you see any effects on the pressure. Let's concentrate on the Virus Pro here looking at the pressure. So now we go with 10. And you can see the average DC voltage went up, but the pressure was not affected. It's another click, nothing. But the third click, you'll see that the pressure going. Here it comes now, and you start seeing that the pressure starts rising. 
That's the third. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And you'll hear the uh, solenoid uh, making the noise. Now let's lower it down. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. So what you, if you see these results here, then you know that you don't have a problem with the uh, transmission control module. You're actually seeing the effects. If you see the yellow, the average DC voltage go up and up and up, and you, your uh, pressure has not been affected, that you know you either have a problem with the solenoid block or your valve body. That's one of the easiest ways to determine whether you have a problem with the transmission control module or with the valve body of the solenoid block. Let's do now testing the PCC. Okay, so now let's test the PCC. We have already put the uh, uh, back probe, the PCC solenoid, and our tap to the PCC pressure port. Let's go to command the PCC. Uh, and if we now put our attention to the uh, Virus Pro, when we go into the test mode, we'll be able to see the, uh, the results on this. Let's communicate here. Still trying to communicate. Okay, now we're on the test. Now, take a look at, the, we're looking at, the, the yellow is your PCC average DC voltage and the green is your PCC pressure. Since we're directly tapped into PCC pressure port, you'll see the effects immediately. Here's 10. And you'll see it increase with each one. 2, 20 PSI, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, now we'll lower it, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, and 10. And as you can see, for each one average DC voltage change, it's an equal effect on the pressure. That's how you could test the PCC pressure port. Okay, so now we see how you can separate whether you have a transmission control module problem or whether you have a valve body or a solenoid block problem. Now if you notice that we back probe the TCM, now the purpose behind that is that you're also checking the integrity of the wire and the, with the pressure transducers we're able to check the pressures. Now you don't have to go that intricate if you don't want to, you could just use the simple scanner to check to see if you have a command. Now the way to do that is just, let me show you over here if we now go down to the scanner. I've already established communication. And if you look at when you're doing the test, you can see that when you, go, when you start doing the tests here, you'll see the zero and you see the PCB PSI will be equal zero. This two should be the same. So that as I go 10, that would be 10. And as I go 20, that should be 20, and so forth. You'll see all the way up. And we could also go down. Now, this is obviously telling you that, that the transmission control module is commanding uh, the, the PSIs, but as the old saying says, garbage in, garbage out. Is it working properly? Well, now you don't really know that unless you have back probe the computer to see your average DC voltage and the PSI. That's why we went that way. But if you turn on your vehicle and you see automatically without even testing that you see your PC, uh, your, your PCA or PCB or PCC and you look under PSI, you see it at 90 all the time, never changing, you definitely more than likely have a transmission control module. 
But again, this is depending on how intricate you want to go. It depends on the testing that you want to do. But we hope that this information will help you to determine whether you have a transmission control module problem or a valve body or solenoid block. So with, uh, with, uh, with that in mind, we say goodbye from Valve Body Pro.